Peace and blessings, yes. Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. We're back on another video. This one's going to be about you got to beware of these seven demonic trends that some of you all, you guys do. And, you know, the reason why some of you guys do it because you saw your friends do it. Uh, you saw influencers on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case may be, right? And, you know, you want to dabble into, you know, being spiritual. And you got to be very careful because there's a good side of spirituality and then there's a dark side of spirituality. This video is going to expose the dark side of spirituality and the dark side of spirituality, all that does, right? And there might be some truth to that. And that knowledge, dark side of spirituality, knowledge is coming from fallen angels. Okay? It's coming from devils. Okay? And that whole goal, the whole agenda from the dark side of spirituality is to get you further away from God. You notice how a lot of people say, thank you, universe. They won't say, thank you, God. These people worship the creation more than they do the creator. Thank you, universe. They'll never, they'll never give credit to the Most High, the God of Israel. They'll only give credit to the things that he created. Okay, even the Bible talks about that in Romans chapter one. I'll leave a verse right here. It talks about how uh, people would rather you know worship the creation than the creator. And people who dabble in this type of stuff, a lot of them are like that. Okay, and like I was saying, the whole goal of the enemy is to get you further away from the truth, which is Jesus Christ. To get you further away from the Holy Spirit. To get you further away to the light and to stay in darkness so i'm going to expose this okay a lot of you guys especially the, the gen z babies a lot of you guys you all see someone on youtube and i understand you're young you want to fit in and you you know you think it's cool and you're now spiritual and you know someone who's truly spiritual you know on the light side the good side of spirituality is a follower of jesus christ okay who has the holy spirit that's true spirituality anything else is demonic okay let's get let's go number one okay Beware these seven demonic tr trends. Number one, guys, is channeling spirit guides, okay? Channeling spirit guides. What is spirit guides for those who don't know what it is, okay? Spirit guides is supposedly, now there's many things, many ways you could attract a spirit guide, but from what I've heard from many people, they astral project and they go into a different realm, which is just demonic, guys. That's 100% demonic because, you know, these, these spirit guides, they come disguised as a light, okay? But even the Bible says that even the devil, Satan, disguised himself as an angel of light. And it's very, you know, you don't want to be dabbling and talking to a spirit guide because that could be a demon. That could be a fallen angel you're talking to. Okay, and that, then that demon is going to deceive you. Okay, now you're going to be able to deceive others okay, because you're deceived. Okay, so be very cautious on spirit guides. Guys, if you want a guide, a true guide, it's the Holy Spirit. Have a personal relationship with the Son, Jesus Christ, because no man could go into the Father but first through the Son. Okay. And, you know, have the Holy Spirit lead you. If you guys don't have the Holy Spirit, ask God. Get, get in prayer. God, please give me the Holy Spirit. And God will give it to you. Okay? A hundred percent he will give it to you. So you got to ask him and seek, you know, seek him with your whole heart. Okay? And, you know, now that's, that the Holy Spirit is going to come with conviction. That Holy Spirit is going to come with discernment. Okay? Knowing between right and wrong. Okay? Knowing that all this is demonic. All this opens demonic doors for Satan to come in and destroy you and your family and your loved ones. Okay? So if you guys want a true spirit guide, that's the Holy Spirit. I don't want to say spirit guide because that's that stuff is nonsense. But if you guys want a true guide, someone who's going to lead you to the right path, you know, and, you know, for you to discern what's right and wrong. OK, got to have the Holy Spirit. And that's the only way you can get it, guys, is asking God for it. OK, so all that spirit guide stuff, 100 percent new age, 100 percent demonic. Number two, ooh, this is what a lot of people do. A lot of people do this, man, using crystals and sage to get rid of bad i quoted it because when they say bad see these people are spiritual right but they'll never they'll never say what really bad means demonic and they'll never say they're using crystals and sage to get rid of demonic energy they'll just say bad because they're carnal minded okay it's true they're trying, they're trying to get rid of demonic energy but how can you get how can you fight Satan when you're dabbling in satan's devices okay we're, us people who are truly spiritual we're not ignorant we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. So all these people dabbling in this type of stuff, how can you fight evil with evil? You know, using crystals. And now there's nothing wrong with crystals, right? But the problem is many of these people who call themselves spiritual and have crystals, they use that for protection. And the only protection you should be you should be seeking, the true protection is from angels of the most high. And how do you have angels around you? Okay, by fearing God. Okay, having the fear of God in you. Okay, and now when you have when, when you have the Holy Spirit, you're protected. And see, like I said, all this stuff, it drives you further away from the Holy Spirit. And now you believe you're your own God. 
Okay, now you now you feel like you're God. You don't need the you don't need God. You don't need the Most High. You just need the universe and all these other idols. Okay, that's a whole agenda of these demonic trends. Okay, and Satan knows what he's doing. Okay, Satan knows what I'm, I, and I know what he's doing. So I'm going to warn you guys. Me being the messenger of God, I'm going to warn you guys. All this stuff, guys, it's going to lead you further away from the truth. And I have a quick story to talk about before I go with these uh, next next ones. Okay, um, I was at a um, this is way back in the days. I was around some some people. Uh, and there was some dude I ran into. I, I went to high school with him. I haven't seen him in years. And he started lining up Sage around me. And I knew that, you know, Sage wasn't, you know, like, you know, I didn't, he was like, want to touch you? I was like, no, nah, I'm good, bro. And I remember that same night, guys, I had a demonic dream. Like, I got attacked in my dream. Okay. I don't know what he put in it. I don't know, bro. I just know that it was a demonic dream. And I didn't even, I w I didn't even light it. So I don't know what type of what type of spirits are being put in when people light that stuff. You know, people spraying it like that. Like, nah, you can't fight Satan with Satan, guys. Okay. And like I said, some people are like, well, more crystals are in the Bible. Okay, like I said, nothing's wrong with nothing demonic with crystals, but when you're using it to protect you, nowhere in the Bible does it say a physical object, a carnal object, is going to protect you from demonic uh, spirits. Nothing like that. But like I said, when you have a carnal mind, you're not able to understand that. Have a spiritual mind, which is life and peace. Number three, also for before I go to number three, is the evil eye jewelry, okay? I mean, it's called evil eye, but people are using that jewelry to think that's going to protect them. Guys, don't be deceived, guys. Don't be deceived. Be wise. Throw all the crystals, the sage, the evil eye jewelry. Throw all that in the trash, guys. Don't give any power. Don't give any authority to Satan to come into your household, guys, because there's also witches who put who cast spells and put it in these crystals who cast spells and put it in these jewelry and now you're bringing it into your house now you got a whole bunch of you know demons that and you think that the, the sage is going to get rid of those demons no the demons are going to stay number three angel numbers i know a lot of people could get offended by this this is one of the biggest things i see saying has many people in the chokehold many people in the stronghold now i have a 15 minute video talking about angel numbers so i won't you know if you guys want to watch that i'll leave it in the description down below um Think about agent. Oh, sorry, I was gonna say agent numbers. The thing about a angel numbers, right? It's not biblical. Okay, there's even an angel number that says six six six, and I forgot what that. I forgot what that says six. But I was reading a couple um, when I made that video, and it's just like that's demonic. The Bible talks about the six 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 is a mark of the beast. Okay, so I, all I know, I mean, I have discernment, I have wisdom. I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. All I know, the angel numbers not needed. Okay, and like I said, guys, there's fallen angels. Okay, all this stuff is all linked to fallen angels. All of it, okay? If you guys want to, you know, uh, you, you guys want to sign, okay? The Bible says that uh, the evil generation seeks a sign and won't be given to him. So don't be evil, okay? Follow the Holy Spirit. Th th throw away all these type of stuff, guys. Surrender your life to God, man. That is true spirituality. But many people aren't willing to do that. So they're going to dabble in these type of stuff and they're going to feel, they're going to feel spiritual, but they're truly just carnal, okay? Because this is all flesh, Okay, this is all flesh. Like I said, I already have a 15 minute video. I'm not gonna go to. It's already eight minutes long. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go too long on that. But yes, guys, angel numbers, 100% demonic. It's not biblical at all, guys. Okay, number four is sun gazing. Okay, sun gazing. This is what I was talking about earlier. People worship the creation more than they do the creator. Okay, and sun gazing is linked to paganism. If you look at all, all these other religions, they all it's all sun worship. Okay, look that up. A lot of people don't do their research. Okay. All that is all that is paganism. Okay. If now I I'm not against getting sunlight. I get the sun. As a matter of fact, I just got done uh, soaking the sun. But I you don't have to stare in the, the sun and you know thank you universe. You just look like a fool doing that. Okay. If you want to get some sunlight, just go outside. Maybe take it off your shirt if you're a dude. You know, just take it off your shirt. Or you don't have to take it off your shirt. There's nothing wrong with getting sunlight, getting your vitamin D. There's a lot of benefits to that. But when you're just worshiping and praising the sun. You know, that's all demonic. Okay, that's paganism. Do your research. Number five is zodiac signs. A lot of people aren't willing to give this up. You know, even though it's in the Bible, they don't even care. Okay, that's an abomination to the most high horoscope, zodiac signs. And I remember I used to do this. I was lost too, guys. Okay, I was lost too. And, you know, the thing about these zodiac signs, one thing that I learned from what I was doing, um, I would always look at the horoscopes every day. There was like an app on my phone. And it looked like your day is going to be this. And sometimes it was accurate. Sometimes it wasn't. And like I said, there's some truth into these zodiac signs, these horoscopes. Like I said, that all comes from fallen angel knowledge. That's all, it was all supposed to be forbidden. 
Okay, that's why the book the book of Enoch uh, exposes this. Okay, all that type of stuff was supposed to be forbidden. The fallen angels they have rebelled against God, just like many people nowadays. Guys, even though I'm dropping the knowledge, they're gonna rebel. Okay, because they're on the enemy side. Okay, they're on the enemy side. So the zodiac signs it talks about this in Deut Deuteronomy chapter 18. I'll leave a verse number right here. Chapter 18, verse 9 to 14, it says that all who do do this type of stuff, the zodiac signs, the horoscopes, the witches, astrologers, and stuff like that, are an abomination to the Most High God, okay? And like I said, one thing that, like I was saying earlier, I noticed that it would drive me away from the Bible. Like, I will wake up, guys, right when I woke up, look at my zodiacs and look at my horoscopes, right? And forget the Bible. Forget praying, thanking God for another day. Forget that. Let me just look at my zodiac sign. That's a stronghold, okay? That's a stronghold in your mind that you're doing, okay? So like I said... If you want, if, and, and I know a lot of us guys, we want to see what God has for our, you know our plans and see what the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter twenty nine verse eleven it says, "For I know the plans that I have for you, plans of, uh, to give you peace and the plans to prosper you." Okay, God is not uh, God's plans to give you an unexpected end. So you have to have faith. Okay, stop trying to move, especially in our early. If you're in your twenties, I remember I was doing this in my early twenties. Like, bro, you have years. That's you're still a little you know a young adult. Okay, you have plenty of time to go, or you know plenty. Of years ago you don't want to speed through life because if you speed through life next thing you know you're 40 and now you're you know on the verge of life is almost over you know halfway okay so don't speed through life have faith and truly believe in god pray for the things that you want ask god for it and if he doesn't give it to you it's because it wasn't in his will it wasn't in your will in your life to have it okay so i just want to let you guys know i remember i used to do this type of stuff every day and all that did would just lead me further away from the truth lead me further away from the holy spirit Lead me further away from God. That's all what this does, guys. Number six is psychic readings okay, and tarot cards. Guys, every every female y'all see on YouTube, uh, IG, TikTok, dabbling with the tarot cards, those are witches. Okay, I made a video talking about this, and, you know, a female was like, oh, well, Mark, you know, I'm a good witch, you know? Like, I should... <laughs> She said, she said she was a good witch, but the Bible says we suffer not a witch to live. Cause so there's no such thing as a good witch. And why in the Bible days were witches commanded to be put to death? Because when witches came into the city, okay, they came and they brought their, their demonic spirits with them. Okay, that's why the Bible says they were they were put to death. Now we're under grace. They, you know, all you witches, you should be thanking Jesus for because of grace. You know that we're no we're no longer under that law where you know you could stone someone. Okay. So you should be thanking God every single day that, you know, God brought his son, Jesus Christ, into this life to be a light and to change a verse our ways. And like I said, I used to do some of these things, too. But once you know better, it's time to throw it away. And once you throw that away, you got to expect and prepare for spiritual warfare. You got to expect and prepare for the devil to attack you because the devil doesn't want you to leave his kingdom. So he's going to do everything in his power. You know, get old friends to come back to you. You know, let's dabble in this. Even though God is, you know, setting you free from that, the devil is going to send his minions, to send his agent, okay, someone who doesn't know they're being used to get you to go back. So understand when you, when you give up these things, guys, expect spiritual warfare. Expect it. Okay. So, yes, guys, tarot cards, no such thing as a good witch. All those people you see playing with tarot cards, you notice how those witches on YouTube playing with the tarot cards, right? You notice how they have the crystals. You notice how they have the sage. They're talking about spirit guides. They got the angel numbers. They got the horoscopes and zodiac signs all in those psychic readings. So I'm going to go with this next one, right? right? Notice how that all correlates the spirit of witchcraft. Okay. Ooh, man. this is <laughs> Man, y'all better like this video. Y'all better share it. Y'all be y'all better share this video, bro. People need to be set free from this demonic stuff. Okay, number seven is... And also, this also correlates to, uh, you know, the Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 to 4. All divination, that's one of the most demonic spirits on this earth today. Okay, number seven is, uh, hopefully I'm saying this right, really key, really key, whatever, Reiki healing. Okay, if you want true healing, guys, a lot of people, guys, and, and see, sometimes when we want healing, we start smoking, we start, you know, doing things that's actually self-destructive. If you want true healing, guys, repent. Repent of your sins. Give your life to God. Give your life to Jesus. OK, uh, you know, deny yourself. That's true healing. And now God will, you know, build up your fill and build up your spirit. OK, so that is true healing. The Holy Spirit is going to heal you. This type of stuff is all demonic. OK, it leads you further away from God. And also yoga. OK, a lot of people don't know. Well, Mark, I'm just stretching. Mark, I like to stretch. Do your research. OK, yoga stems to a Hindu ritual. Notice how when people are doing yoga, they're doing certain poses. And back in the days, when they would do those poses, they were they were channeling spirits. Okay. 
Yes. And notice how when people do yoga, they're putting up the 666 hand sign. Yes, bro. It's deep. Man, yes. Okay. Do your read. Don't, and now people are going to shoot the messenger. Hands up. Don't shoot. Hands up. Don't shoot. Okay. They're going to get mad at me, but they won't do. They won't get mad at the people who lied to them. They refuse to get mad at the people who lied to them. Okay. So these are the seven signs of these demonic trends. You ought to be careful for. Number one is challenging spirit guides. Number two is crystals and sage to get rid of bad energy and the evil eye jewelry. Number three is angel numbers. Number four is sun gazing. Number five is uh, zodiac signs. Number six is psychic readings and tarot cards. Number seven is Reiki healing and yoga. Okay, I put Hindu ritual. I love you guys so much. Make sure you guys you guys share this on all social media platforms, especially TikTok. People got to hear this, man. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Peace.